What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. We're going to focus in on Jeremy Bracco taking his talents to the Kitchener Rangers and leaving Boston College after uh, five games on campus with the Eagles. Um, you know, one of those weird situations with Bracco uh, was back and forth literally all summer as to whether or not he'd ever actually step foot in, on campus at BC or if he'd go to Kitchener. Obviously, got to, got to the, uh, the Chestnut Hill Heights, but, um, you know, just... They don't want to stay around, and it's one of those things you'll be like, you know, really? Um, my thing is, you know, I have no issue with the kid doing what they think is best for their career, not at all, but, you know, you take a scholarship opportunity away from another player by, you know, doing something you had you signed in, you know, July. You know, and it's something that I care about BC. I care about, you know, the opportunity for another kid that's probably playing in the USHL with EJ right now that, that could step in and, you know, be playing at BC right now. I think it's, I'm not going to say selfish, but, um, you know, it could have been. Could have been handled better by uh, by Mr. Bracco, but it's one of those things you just uh, you know move your hat, tip your hat, and move on. I, I'm actually at this point I have chance. I didn't get a chance to see him play in person, so uh, what are you gonna do? But uh, you know the offensive creativity will definitely help up in Kitchener. Kitchener's got one of the best teams in junior hockey right now, um, and you know they're doing some some great things. Uh, fellow development team or alum uh, Luca Pica. And uh, Ryan McGinnis are both having you know big years there, so Bracco will have some familiarity when he steps in, and uh, you know could really uh, you know give this team even more shot in the arm. Uh, no reports yet if he's if he'll sign an entry level deal with the Leafs. I assume that's coming. I mean that, I think that would be you know sign with Kitchener and then get the ELC, get a little get a little money up front and uh, and go from there. But you know it's one of those. You know situations where, uh, eh, I I don't knock the player for doing what he thinks what he thinks is best, but you know it's not a good look. I mean, he's originally committed to Harvard, decommitted, and then had the BC romance. So you know BC Kitchener love triangle that went on for you know the duration of the summer, and now it's like oh had my time with BC, now we're going to Kitchener. It's like come on, dude, a lot like Sonny Milano. I mean, you think about it. I mean, he went. Milano was Notre Dame, then BC committed to BC. Never actually got on campus at BC, and then uh, was with the Plymouth Whalers last year. So, you know, not not too different between uh, the two U.S. development team alum. But you know, tough tough deal for Jerry York's Eagles. But you know, we'll see uh, we'll see how it all shakes up. Definitely not a situation you. you that you consider is to be among the better ones to be in as a coach, but if there's a uh, guy in college hockey that can, you know, help alleviate the burden of losing uh, high-end freshman talent, I think it's uh, Mr. Jerry York. Anyway, that's all I got so on this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.